David Barnson is with us, the Barnson Group CIO. David, 3% growth. You heard it from the lips of Larry Kudlow. What do you make of that? Well, I've said it too, Larry Kudlow, so I make of it that he's exactly <laughs> right. 3% real GDP growth, full year 2019, 5 to 5.5% 5 .5 nominal GDP growth. But the, wait, wait a minute, because David. Because CapEx this, and business investment is coming back. That is a complete reversal of just about everything we heard between October of last year and the end of January this year. That's, that, we were not hearing yes. that at all. Oh, it was all doom and gloom and, dis and, dis and decline. Yeah, the, the issue on GDP is that there's one ingredient that is a big question mark, and that ingredient was flying higher in Q4 17, Q1 and Q2 18, and then it collapsed in Q3, and that ingredient is business investment. So if capital goods orders, if business confidence drops, and then ultimately capital expenditures bring down productivity, that is what the threat to GDP growth is. However, the trade war, I believe, will prove to be transitory. I pray it will prove to be transitory. Our president needs a deal, and God knows China needs a deal. But the fact of the matter is, is that that did interrupt GDP growth. And you know, Stuart, how I feel about the whole trade war issue. But if that gets resolved, and the Fed is no longer going to be taking credit and liquidity out of the economy, the fact of the matter is the economy definitely can grow 3%. Larry's right. You heard it here. Now, a lot of our viewers look forward to your performance every Friday morning on the show because you bring with us stocks that you like and you explain why you like them and why you think they're going to go up. First one, Verizon. Tell me about it. Why do you like it? Mm. Well, again, you know I like Verizon because of the fact that they are a consistent dividend grower, but the reason they're a consistent dividend grower is because they are a very well-run company that isn't chasing all these different uh, peripheral business lines that are indebting them and are threatening their dividend, like their biggest competitor, AT&T, which we sold last year. So Verizon is going to be the 5G leader. They have a very low beta. Look how defensively they held up during the fourth quarter volatility. And now we're getting paid 4.5% as they continue to perform. We're up about 15% since we replaced AT&T with Verizon six months ago. All right. Next one is GlaxoSmithKline. Why do you like it? Again, Glaxo was also up about 14% last year, and Glaxo is the high dividend payer in the pharmaceutical industry. And the reason that we really think Glaxo went higher last year is that they had the discipline to turn down a very CapEx expensive uh, merger on the uh, consumer product division from Pfizer. If they had gone and added $6 billion of debt to their balance sheet, we wouldn't have been able to, to go forward with Glaxo. But actually, they're organically growing their dividend. They're in place with it right now. And they are a great R&D company. They have a great vaccine business, great HIV business. So we like Glaxo as a high dividend payer in big pharma. Good stuff, as usual, every Friday. David Barnson. Thanks very much, David. We'll see you soon. Thank you, sir. All okay. right, sir. Take care.